everyone. Today's Saturday, June 6, 2020. Just want to do a quick video on a subject I wanted to do back at the end of trapping season about the trapping gloves for predator sets. Just never got around to doing it. So before we get started, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Everyone else returning, thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. And one other thing I want to throw out there real quick is I told a couple young men I was going to give them a shout out in my live stream today. I was not able to do my live stream, so I'm going to give you a shout out in this video. Asher Brothers Outdoors. If you do not have those two young gentlemen's channel, you need to get it. All you hunters, all you trappers, all you outdoorsmen, get over to Asher Brothers Outdoors. Great channel. They've come a long way. It's been nice watching their channel grow. Uh, I think you'll be really impressed at, at what they've accomplished at their young age. So, Asher Brothers Outdoors, go check them out. All right, gloves for predator, predator trapping. When I first started trapping back years ago, like I said, I was in junior high, uh, the only gloves we used for predator sets were those big, thick, yellow, heavy, I guess, leather or, some, or something like that. But you couldn't feel your trap, you couldn't feel the dirt, you couldn't, it was hard to just make a set with them. We still managed to do it, but it just took forever. As time passed, uh, these uh, wrist link rubber gloves were the popular gloves to have to, for fox trapping, coyote trapping, predator trapping. So, moved on to those. But with these, they are still a little thick. You still have issues when you're filling your trap, bedding it, and all that stuff. You just don't get that that feeling you want. So since then, I've moved on here the last few years to just uh, regular old brown jersey gloves. They're thin, you can fill your trap, you can get it set, you know. They work really, really good, except for in wet, wet conditions, muddy conditions. The mud wants to stick to your gloves, and this material just sucks the water up, so, you know, they get wet, it's cold out, they'll freeze. They're just only good for dry weather. But towards the end of last season, I was in Walmart looking around at some gloves and I found uh, these cold weather grips. They're coated on the bottom. I don't know if that's rubber or what, but they're coated on the bottom. And uh, they work really, really well. They work better than those jersey gloves for wet conditions because you can just brush that mud off of them. That water doesn't absorb up inside, inside the glove like they do in, in these. From start to finish on making a set, these gloves are excellent. So I was able to buy these two, I bought two, uh, two pair for five or six bucks. So I got me a pair, Cody a pair, and then before season comes on this fall, I'm gonna get a couple more pair for standby, but they're just called Cold weather grips, they work great for making fox sets, coyote sets, whatever predators you trap. And if you're in wet conditions, just my opinion, they work great for me. Uh, if you're happy with what you're using, that's great. But if you're looking to experiment, spend a couple bucks, I'd say try these gloves out. Uh, well, I said I got these at Walmart, they work great. So that's all I got for you, as you can see. Last video, the rocker got painted, so finishing up on some of the projects we've been doing, so going to take a nice long break. So, y'all take care. Have a great Saturday evening. We'll see you in the next video.